I'll take that. Stop looking at me funny. Perfect fit. Yes, he's never looked happier. You'd never know this star ornament was a gear just to look at it. What a beautiful piece. there. Gorshka, this reminds me of the pool we encountered at the sunken castle. Yes. Every bit is impassable and ultimately useless to us. You never know. We might find something to help. Can't we just throw Meze to the other side?
This looks promising. There's our entrance. Well done. Oh no. The crackling of bones I hear can mean only one thing. The wrath of four great chieftains I once called family. Well, if you want to keep this reunion a private affair, old man, you know we'd understand. On! Tosh! Turhatum! Huba! If any of you can hear me, know we search this tomb for only the most noble of reasons. That's a really big if there, old man. There's as much soul left in those bones as any other ruthless skeletons terrorizing Operencia these days. You're right. I don't like it, but I know you're right. They may just be more skeletons, but they're more formidable than any we've faced before. That just means their bones crack harder. How rude of me. I never caught your name. That one seems so nice. Great chieftains, I am truly sorry, but this had to be done. They entered the crypt, and then, fright, in its purest form. It gripped their hearts, it held them in place. And moments later, a voice of legend spoke. My power petrifies you. You cannot move. How boring. I release you. Queen Raker, we thank you for your mercy. Mercy? This can't be good. Holding you in place will not kill you. And 
long have I waited for another chance to fire this bow? My queen, we mean you no harm. I do not feel the same. This is unbelievable. I know I'm sheltered, but how does one kill a ghost? If she can kill us, we must be able to kill her, right? We cannot kill her. So we join her in the afterlife then. Perfect. No, a corporeal apparition can be defeated, same as you or me. They simply expire once exhausted. Expire? How do you know this? Experience? Well, I'm convinced. Well, I can't think of a more convenient place to die than in a tomb. I have seen you fight. We will not perish.
Did we just expire her? <laughs> Allow me to thank you. Being at peace is so... peaceful. Dull. This awakening was a welcome reprieve. I sense a quest of urgency and importance. Yet I also sense disappointment. It honors us that we were able to uh, abuse you, milady. But alas, we had hoped to find the sword of Attila. The fate of Operencia is at stake. Might you know where to find it? No. Only he who crafted the blade would sense its power. Hador? But he lives in the upper world. The land of the gods. How will we get there? If your quest is as noble as you claim, then fate will lead you. First, fate needs to lead us out of this place. All this exposure to malevolent mushrooms is causing hallucinations. We honestly think we're talking to a royal wraith who told us to visit a god. Take this arrow, use it to escape this tomb, and leave me in peace. When my power fades, he will not see me again. Good luck, heroes. It's not every day a ghost calls me a hero. Anyone, for that matter. I see you as a hero, Yoshka. Why, thank you, Mazze. Enough flattery. We must find a way to Hador. Such a demanding deciduous. If you rob from the Queen's tomb, there will be no reward for you. In fact, I will send you to your own tomb myself. Meze showing some backbone. I can always come back when this is all over. As the companions departed the tomb of Reiko, a stranger crossed their path. He wore the rags of a common peasant, and the exhaustion of a man running for his life. If you gentlemen seek to rob me, 
I assure you, I have nothing but my life to give. Well, on the contrary, what happened to you? A three-headed dragon has invaded the middle world once more. Like Thade, slain by Attila decades ago? Whatever its name, it tore my village apart. My wife, my children, gone. I may be the only one who survived. That's terrible. You're welcome to join us. If you don't mind traversing a path of relentless near certain death. Well, you certainly seem armed well enough to handle any threats. What brings you here? We aim to bring back the sun. Somehow. Sounds impossible. But noble. Far too dangerous for a simple man like me. I am headed to the Deva Fortress, not far from here. I'll be safe there. And perhaps its army can help with the dragon. We understand. Good luck on your travels, stranger. Sharkos. What? The name is Sharkos. May our paths cross again, Sharkos. They will. Yes, I believe they will. Farewell. A most curious encounter, that. He won't make it to Deva on his own. No way. We must hope for the best for him. And focus on the quest of our own. Your assistance in the tomb was greatly appreciated. My bow is yours. At least until I figure out how to reach the land of the gods. Perhaps Sebastian could use the merchant's guidance as well. The merchant, you say? Of course. It's been years. You know him? Yes, I know the merchant. And I already know you are in for a great surprise. They returned to find a pathway clear of roots. Olfa was true to his word. You have earned the right to pass. Do not disappoint me. And thank you. The land of the gods is said to have many doors of this design. It's a long way to go for a key. They arrived at the merchant's hut, where Sebastian introduced his companions to an elderly woman named Elia. Elia? This is the merchant of the woods. You were expecting a man, weren't you? Yes, and someone less wrinkled, with a shop full of weapons. Forgiving Yoshka's indelible charm, he does have a point. Were you robbed? Allow me to show you something. The old woman reached into a brown leather bag beside her. She revealed a fine blade. My gift to you. The rest will require a fee. Thank you kindly. 
But your bag is clearly empty. What more have you to sell? Empty? Is it now? She reached into the bag and retrieved a bow. Once more, a spear. A third time, a shield. The group stood in silence as she returned all three items to her bag. Her empty bag. I don't believe it. This bag reveals items as readily as said items are ready to be revealed. It is that simple. Years later, your literal bag of tricks still amazes me. I will provide weapons and armor. I ask only for fair payment. Well, you speak as though you plan to join us. You fear I will slow you down? Let's just say you don't. The question remains, where the hell are we going? We're off to find the sun and send the old man to the god who crafted a legendary sword. A god I'm not so sure I believe in in the first place. Oh, Hador is very real. The firesmith king of the Copper Forest. Do you know how to reach him? No, but I do know who can. We must go. As they left the great forest, the old woman revealed their destination, a fortress known as Balvanus. There, they would find a Taltos to lead them to the land of the gods. After many miles of complaints from Yoshka, they reached a bridge. A very broken bridge. This should not be like this. No, it should not. A woman drew near. She spoke in a somber tone. A tone of great loss. A curse has claimed this path. More curses? And who are you? I'm Kella of the Stonemasons Guild. Well, formerly. Your reputation precedes you. Even I know of the Stonemasons. We built Deva Fortress, but not without sacrifice. Great sacrifice. Yes. A dark enchantment created this castle. And a dark enchantment has ripped it apart. Going around Deva will cost us days. Then we still pass through it. No, you don't. Not without a fight. A very supernatural one at that. We're really not done fighting ghosts, are we? Ha! <laughs> if it means fulfilling our quests, I should hope not. Very well then. I will join you for there is much more to tell. And then they followed an old woman and a mason into a haunted castle. No one is ever going to believe this. The swirling whirlwind atop this castle. What was that, Keller? Our destination. My hammer, Stoneheart, is locked in place there. Without it, I'm not only useless to you, I'm also unable to live the castle's curse. We need only pass through. Yet. You will not pass without the curse being lifted. And lift it we shall. Are you ever going to tell us what actually happened here? Yes, at least what I know. But let's get moving first. Do you think we'll see the villager we spoke to? He said he was headed to Diva. Then he was headed toward his doom. No great loss. There was something off about him. While you could use some lessons in empathy, I also tend to agree with your assessment of his persona. 
Something off, indeed. Won't move. It's too heavy. I sense the presence of the living. Assist me. Who? I await your rescue. Rather presumptuous, isn't he? And yet, I'm very curious. I'm so used to fighting skeletons now. Their rotting flesh makes these fellows so much more personable. My freedom awaits. You sure this is a good idea? Letting whoever's in there out. It's sealed up pretty tight. Worry not. You will be greatly rewarded. We'll have you out in no time. Companions opened the door and looked upon the four-legged beast inside with wonder.
You stare as though you have never gazed upon a griffin. A, a what? <sighs> In most cases, I would have killed you on sight and fed you to my children. But a griffin is not without his sense of gratitude. I did promise you a reward. This feather. A feather? Is it too late to lock him up again? This priceless feather is imbued with the power to lift any object it touches with ease. You're welcome. I suppose we should also thank you for not eating us. Do not tempt me. You have no idea how hungry I am. Each of you very likely faces a grisly death within these walls. If desperate, perhaps I may return to feast upon your carcasses. But may my gift help delay such an outcome for as long as is possible. Farewell. That creature sure has a knack for memorable farewells. I'll give him that. I think we know just where to test our new gift. I must know more about your lovely intangible armory there, Elia. My back. You just want to know if it's really worth stealing. We met such a short time ago, old woman. Yet you know me so well. I can't believe I've never asked myself. Where does that bag come from, Elia? The story of how I attained it is for another day. <clears throat> but would you believe it was found at the battlefield after Thade's underworld invasion? That actually sounds plausible. If so, it's very likely a tool of the underworld. Yes, for all we know, Erdog's own personal blacksmith hands things to me through the ether. <laughs> Having no idea he arms midwarders preparing themselves for war against his own kind. How devilish of us! Well, Erdog literally is the devil. So, what goes around comes around, I suppose. Look, I don't know how it works, but as long as it gets its gold in return, it seems to be happy. Speaking of which, you look like you want to spend some right now. I thought you'd like to know. New items are available. Welcome to the humble shop of the Merchant of the Woods. Humble seems an understatement. It's just you and your sack, isn't it? I need nothing else. And nor do you. Simply view my list and tell me what you like. Assuming you have the gold, of course. Where does the list come from? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Yes, we would. So demanding, Yoshka. And you wonder why no one likes you? I assure you, there are many other reasons. Well, I try not to dislike someone based on their looks. Hey! The list comes from the same place the items do. The same place where the items you sell me return to, I imagine. We can sell you items as well. So long as you don't have them equipped, yes. You can even buy them back if you like. For a slight markup. Ah, indeed. That's the area I've always known. I'll find a way to surprise you someday, old friend. I promise. Pleasantly, I hope. Yes, me too.
Thank you. 